When it comes to discussing who is the best tight end in football, there are two names that come to mind. Rob Gronkowski and Travis Kelsey. For whatever reason, there is a third name, however, that never gets brought up in these conversations, and that man is Philadelphia's Zach Ertz. Ertz's career in Philadelphia has been as consistent as you'd like, but the one thing he's never been able to crack is a 1,000-yard season. However, only three tight ends in NFL history have had more 10-catch games than Ertz, and he's in very good company with Tony Gonzalez, Jason Witten, and Callum Winslow. Now, during his first three years, he's actually pound for pound a little bit better than Tony Gonzalez, but the question is, has he done enough to garner the reputation as the best tight end in football? Well, this film room may at least put him back in that conversation. My name is Liam Jenkins, and welcome to another episode of Eagles Film Room. In my opinion, what Ertz does better than the other two tight ends in this conversation is route running. The man has somehow the brutality of a linebacker, but the hips and the body fluidity of a wide receiver that is simply just stunning to watch. But let's just see what we mean by the term core strength. So here we're going to see a simple post route. He's lined up one on one, but watch the way he's able to just shrug that defender to the floor. He was never targeted, but if we rewind it and watch it again, it all comes from that upper body. The defenders playing press coverage. Ertz positions himself inside and just throws his body weight to the opposite direction across the face of the defender. It's a great play by the Eagles tight end. A similar look here, once again it's press coverage, but we're going to see some separation at the line, which for wide receivers is very important. It takes two steps and a slight push for Zach Ertz to get himself in a situation where he could be making that reception. We'll slow it down again, let's just take a look at the footwork off the line. There's first couple steps, angles outside, lowers his head just to change that direction the inside leg is already positioning itself inside then he opens his hips and the rest is history there's not much that Landon Collins can do from that front and it's game over if Carson Wentz went his direction now this is going to be a slightly interesting concept again Zach Ertz pretty much was man covered the entire game against the New York Giants but look at the way he's able to dominate the stem of this route he almost shows as going outside there for just a moment and that was all it took to send the defensive backs hit the other direction which gave Ertz all of that pull to come back around the top of the route. It's even better in slow motion. Ertz is looking like he's heading vertical. The corner's got to adjust to keep up. That subtle twitch there. The corner has to open his hips and account for that change of direction and it's just not enough. Ertz comes back over the top and it's easy pickings if targeted. But not every route is going to be that clean, so sometimes you've got to bully your way down the stem, and the most important thing for receiving targets is can you stay on route without having a rhythm disrupted by a physical corner? And Landon Collins is going to try it, so he initiates that punch. That's everything he's taught to do in the DB room. Ertz throws him off once. He then throws him off again as Collins comes back around, tries to nudge him off the other direction, and Ertz sweeps underneath and is able to get a hand on the ball. Now, I believe the pass fell incomplete, but the rest was history. That's great opportunity body strength by Ertz not getting thrown off course during the stem of that route. Now this may be one of his fanciest routes in the boot. We can see him just sweep across the face of the safety and then just for the added pizzazz, leap up and express his catch radius, which funnily enough is what we're seeing next. But we'll slow this route down again. Just take a look at the hips of Zach Ertz on this play. The way he's able to flick his body from one direction to the other, it's so beautiful. It's like a flamingo moving. At this point he looks like he's cutting in that gap between the safety in the corner but he moves his whole body round shielding it from the opposing safety plucks the ball out of thin air like it's nothing twirls around and makes a gorgeous reception for a touchdown and this brings us on to point number two Ertz has some of the softest hands in the NFL and it is not even a joke we'll take a look at this play against the Indianapolis Colts and all he's going to do is find space on a dig watch him just move over the top of the linebackers but the way he's able to position his body to be facing that ball was just remarkable Remarkable. We see another example of it here against the New York Giants. A similar concept. He's going to cut over the top of the linebackers. And the way he's able to just raise his hands and pluck that ball, keeping momentum moving forward. He doesn't have to make a massive adjustment. It just sits perfectly. And do you know what? A lot of that comes down from chemistry with the quarterback. And in Carson Wentz's rookie season, Ertz set a career high in receptions as well as 816 yards. And of course, four touchdowns. That was matching a career high. One year later, that number doubled to eight. 
So he's become very familiar with Carson Wentz and where that ball is going to be placed, knowing that it will be firmly in his hands. And we see a great example of this one here against the Titans. Ertz uses his intuition because he knows Carson Wentz can manipulate the linebackers with his eyes. He knows exactly where Wentz wants to place that ball and as a result, dips into the second pocket of space. Watch it from the view of Carson Wentz. The eyes of number 11, the way that helmet is positioned. It's an RPO. He steps up in the pocket and at that point, both those linebackers are moving to the right. He knows that pocket of space is opening. It's a great throw by Wentz, but that is a case of his receiver being on the same page. Now, I know this looks confusing and, well, frankly, that's because it is, but what I'm trying to demonstrate here is the Eagles know that this Tampa defense is essentially going to roll around to pick up their man, creating almost a barrier, that blue line, for Zach Ertz to dominate. So as the receiver goes on his vertical route, the safety has to respect that, looks at the eyes of his quarterback, and what we're going to see is Zach Ertz dominate his man matchup, and because the receivers carried that corner down the field, he gets a huge pocket of space. It's a remarkable effort from the tight end, but just great play design, which certainly helps. Another example of Zach Ertz finding that space over the top of linebackers came against the Titans that same game, just dips inside, and at that point, that is the most easy throw in the book for Carson Wentz. Uh, stands there, picks it up, and turns again. Another example here came in that same game. Ertz is going to play the exact same type. He knows he's got two linebackers sitting just in front to load up that box and try and block out the run. So all Ertz is going to do is be patient, know he's got a receiver ahead of him, and then pluck that space out of thin air. So as the play begins to settle in, just keep an eye on where Zach Ertz decides to run. He's picking up the coverage. He goes outside first, then moves over the top when the linebacker thinks that Ertz has gone the other way. He doesn't have to do that. He could have gone across the face of the linebacker. Instead, he tries to fall him, running around his back and then cutting him because he's got that agility. It's a great bit of football IQ from Zach Ertz and we don't speak about it enough. You don't have to run routes that way but he's so pristine in what he does that it's almost become overlooked. We've got to see a similar concept here. Ertz is going to be lined up against a second receiver. You've got two safeties over the top so you've got to split them. We've got man coverage by the Colts and all we're going to see is that receiver cut outside to draw the attention of the safety. Here's another look at how that route's going to play out just to rewind it for a second so Ertz is the green route you've got two crosses there this is typically what we see in a, a levels type concept you've got a wheel route around the outside as well but watch Zach Ertz he moves inside the safety has to respect where that receiver's turning the corner does as well and what you get is a gaping pocket for Zach Ertz to leap up and make a giant catch almost inside the opposing red zone. It's a great play by the quarterback, but again, the athleticism of Zach Ertz knows no bounds. But this is my favorite play of the day. The Giants show a stacked box. There's eight there. So Carson Wentz does an eagle sign. Oh, before you know it, that stacked box now has to account for a single receiver, a tight end, and two pulling blockers tight ends, as well as a running back going the other way. Now, Zach Ertz really becomes the epitome of a receiving tight end in today's NFL with a beautifully designed route here. Just moves outside, fakes Janoris Jenkins so, so simply by moving his body outside and throwing his hips the opposite direction. It is like a salsa dance when Zach Ertz takes flight. And we'll see it again here. He looks like he's running a simple slant, moves his body the other way, and that is all day for Carson Wentz to make that throw. It's a beautifully thrown touchdown for the Eagles there in a giant situation as well. But what a catch by Zach Ertz. What a route. Can you really disagree that he may not be the best tight end in football. He may not be the most accomplished tight end in football, but in my opinion, he may be the most complete. His blocking is getting better each and every week, and the way he runs routes is staggering. A man of his size, who bear in mind is six foot five, 250 pounds, should not be able to move with the fluidity and the ease that he does. Ertz is a once in a lifetime caliber talent coming out of Stanford. He's proved it each and every year, and there is no reason he can't smash that 1,000 yard target this year. He's almost at the halfway mark and he's already at 480 yards. So will he do it? Is he the most complete tight end in football? I want to hear your comments. Let me know down below. Is Zaka the best tight end in football? And be sure to give this video a like. Hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you so much for your support guys. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at LiamJenkins21 at PhiladelphiaSN and we'll see you next time for another episode of Eagles Film Room.